Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Today we are bringing back an oldie but a goodie. Last year I did my candle haul for the season and I'm doing it again this year to show you my winter candle collection. Um, mostly Bath and Body Works. 98% Bath and Body Works. So <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed. Candles just make me feel so cozy and warm and like in a place that's clean and fresh. And even if my apartment is not clean and fresh, I can make it feel like it is by making it smell that way. So I love candles. So I'm going to show you all of the candles that I have collected for this winter season. Um, some of them are going to be repeats, ones that I had last year, so if you watch last year's vlog, you'll see some again. Um, some of them I burned through and then some of the new ones I bought. So a little bit of everything. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the vanilla category. So I think winter time is very good for vanilla because vanilla is very warm um, and a, a nice cozy scent and that's what you want. So we're starting with vanilla birch. Vanilla birch is one of my favorites because it is vanilla-y but it's not too sweet. Obviously you have the birch in there to kind of balance out the sweetness. So the vanilla and then you have this masculine woodsy scent in there so it's not as like stuffy as some other vanillas can be oh I love this one this one specifically is very nice because it has the sticker that has the um, kind of like clear sections of it so while it burns you can see the light um, coming through those little clear sections so I think those always look really cool but yeah, so I did show this last year, but I showed I had a single wick, and since then I went through that whole, that single wick, and then a three wick, and now this one. So I do love this candle. I love vanilla birch. And I got it for my dad because he likes vanilla scents, um, and I loved it, so I thought he might like it for his office. So he burns it in his home office um, and loves it, and I got it again for him this Christmas, so... Hopefully he's not watching. <laughs> For vanilla birch, we have white birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood, which sounds about right. Um, but yeah, love this scent. I'm going to keep coming back. You know, I, this is one that I will keep rebuying. And although I think it's best suited for the winter season, you really could burn it at any, any time. So highly, highly recommend vanilla birch. Okay, my next vanilla scent is one of the only two candles that are not Bath & Body Works, and that is this Woodwick candle. It is one that I was gifted. I don't usually buy myself non-Bath & Body Works candles, but I get gifted candles a lot, um, which, you know, I have no complaints. I love candles, so I will happily take one off someone's hands. So this one is much more of a traditional vanilla scent. It's not too sweet. It's, I think, just as just about as sweet as you want it to be. Uh, it's called Vanilla Bean from Woodwick. Um, and of course, it's a Woodwick candle. And we love Woodwick candles. <laughs> the sound, I love the sound it makes. And the way it looks when it's burning is really cool. Um, so I've burnt this down a little bit. Not too much, but I really do enjoy. Uh, it's nice for when you're working on something and you're sitting down and working. Because then you can have it next to you and you can hear the crackle. Versus other candles, um, you just kind of light and then you can walk around the house doing whatever. Uh, this one I kind of only want to use if I'm sitting down so I can enjoy the, the crinkle, crinkle, crackle. I really love it. Thank you for whoever gave this to me. I don't even remember. All right, so the next scents that we are going to go through are the pine and forest scented candles. During Christmas time, there's nothing better than a pine scented candle, especially if you have a fake tree like me and you don't have the real thing in your house. You need something to fill the void. So, of course, I fill any void in my life with candles. <laughs> so, we have here fresh balsam, 
a classic comes back every year because it deserves to come back every year because it's perfect. Um, this is the same actual, the same physical candle I had last year, but it's way down here. I've burnt it a lot this December because it really puts me in the Christmas mood. Ah, it's perfect. And I really like this one in particular because it has a really cool lid. You have the ornaments on there. Looks really good. I'm going to run out of this one soon, but last year at the after Christmas, um, whatever sale comes after Christmas, they had these on uh, fresh balsam candles on sale, and I know I like them, and I always get more, so I have a whole other one waiting for me when I finish this one. Um, this is last year's candle, I believe, so if they have changed the scent at all, I wouldn't know anything about this year's scent. Now this one is really good. It's really earthy. Earthy might not be the best term. Let's see, they describe it as woodland balsam. Maybe woodland is what I smell. Crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. Maybe cedar wood is what I'm smelling. Yeah, I bet it is. But every year I come back to fresh balsam because every year it is so good. I love fresh balsam. And I will continue to. So this next one I had last year and I was really excited about it. It was new when I filmed this. Um, Tree Farm. And so it comes in, I talked about how I really liked the like milk glass kind of glass. It's really pretty when you're burning it. Um, I stand by that. I'm almost out of this one, but I liked it so much that when the candles came out for this year, I knew I would burn out of this one. So I bought myself a three wig. Plus look, it has a little, um, truck with a Christmas tree on it, so I thought it was very cute. So I do have last year's and this year's, and they smell almost identical. Maybe this one's a tiny bit sweeter, but overall they have very like airy scents compared to um, the Fresh Balsam, which is a little more earthy. This is a little more light and airy and fresh smelling, but definitely still pine. Um, still very Christmassy. Let's see, the notes they give are crisp pine needle, warm cedar, spiced apple. That's probably why I like it. I love anything apple scented. Yeah, I, I definitely smell it now that I see that. And that's probably it. It's probably the apple scent um, because I cannot get enough of apple and it's just, oh, so good. So Christmas. Okay, and this last one for this category, actually I hesitate to put it in this category because, so... It's called Apple Garland. Um, I bought it online and it was an online exclusive, I believe, this year. So when I get a new candle, I smell it and I personally decide what season I believe it belongs in. I'm not gonna let Bath & Body Works tell me what season it belongs in. And so by sniffing this, I decided that this was a fall candle and not a winter candle like I kind of hoped it would be. But it was titled Apple Garland love apple, love pine, so put it together, it is an amazing scent. Um, I would say there's definitely more apple than garland. There's not a lot of pine in there at all. It's mostly apple. But like I said, I love apple, so I'm not that mad about it. But that's why I tipped it over into a fall candle. So this one was actually put away and I got out for this occasion um, because I wanted to show off the candle and because I really do like it even if I think it's more of a fall scent. Um, so this one labels it as, ooh, it just says made with eucalyptus and cedarwood essential oils with notes of gala apples and mistletoe. It's definitely mostly apple, but again, I'm not complaining. Okay, next category is mint. I love mint, even like throughout the whole year, I will burn the eucalyptus mint candles. Um, Anything mint flavored I love. Mint, I'm all about it. So obviously during the holidays we have peppermint and so I have peppermint candles. I love peppermint candles. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is is a crushed candy cane. I did talk about this one last year. Talked about how cute it was with all its little graphics and then how the top looks like melted snow. I still am obsessed with it. I still think it's so cute and I hopefully do something like this again because 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. Crushed candy cane. It's very like pure peppermint compared to like twisted peppermint. This is like more pure peppermint, but a little bit sweeter than pure peppermint. Um, but much more like peppermintier than twisted peppermint. Uh, so they say crush, crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf. I think the mint leaf adds a lot to keep it smelling very like minty and, and fresh and pungent. Um, but I will say this can get a little bit much sometimes. So what I do is I burn this in one room and then fresh balsam in another room and then together they make the perfect Christmas. And they can mix, kind of mix together, but then when you go from like one room to the other, there's different, you know, levels of it. It's just perfect. They mix together perfectly. And I'll either do that or I'll burn one like right after the other. Um, they just really complement each other. So highly recommend if you have those two candles to burn them at the same time, slightly separated. Um, and of course the other classic mint scent from Bath and Body Works around Christmas time is Twisted Peppermint. Uh, in the last video, last year's video, I talked about how um, two years ago they put a citrusy scent into the Twisted Peppermint, just like notes of orange, I think. Um, and I could not handle it. I do not like citrus. And the moment I lit it, I was like, mm, I can't do it. <laughs> I cannot do it. So last year when they took, they took the citrus back out, thankfully. Um, so I bought, I snatched up two of these. Um, so I have this one and then I have another one after this. But I haven't been going through this one as fast. I think because I just love the crushed candy cane one so much. And this one's a lot sweeter. And that is because it has notes of sugared snow and vanilla buttercream. It also has fresh balsam and cool peppermint and a hint of musk. But I think what makes it so different from the crushed candy cane is that buttercream. It really sweetens it and makes it more like um, a peppermint pastry. Which is definitely still good, but just not usually what I'm going for anymore. I used to be absolutely obsessed with twisted peppermint. I still do wear it as a body spray. Um, pretty much for the entirety of December. So <laughs> it's not that I don't like Twisted Peppermint. I don't know. I'm just not fully about this candle. There's just, I'm always drawn to other ones first. So, okay. Lastly, we are down to our miscellaneous category where we just have other wintry scents that I have that don't quite fit into their own category. So first we have the Carlin Brothers candles. Um, these are actually... YouTubers that I watch. They're brothers and um, the first first they came out with a coffee line and I was like Sorry cannot be me. I do not like coffee um, But then they came out with a line of candles and I was like You got me you got me I have to buy it now um, So I looked at their candle options and I got Phoenix fire which, if I remember right, that when they were describing it in person, I don't remember what it said on the website, but when they were describing it on a video, they described it as like a campfire scent, and I love campfire. Um, but having it, once I got it, it pretty much, to me, smells exclusively like cinnamon. It's like a pure cinnamon candle, which I'm not angry about. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting, but it's still very good. I got this last year, and you can see I've gone through it a little bit, but not a lot. Um, if you do get one yourself, the ones they sell now have charms in the bottom, so once you burn all the way down, you can take the little charm out. But unfortunately, I got mine before they started doing that, so I don't get to have the fun, a fun prize at the bottom of my candle. But yeah, I love them. I love their products. I was excited to get this candle, and I still love it. Okay, next one we have is White Pumpkin. I raved about this one last year. I still love it. Um, I do consider this one more of a winter candle than a fall candle. I think it just, yeah, smells a lot more wintry to me. I did notice that this year's White Pumpkin and last year's smells very different. Not very different, but they smell different. Um, Last year's, I had a little bit left of last year's, and I knew I would go through it pretty fast, so I bought this year's White Pumpkin as well, but 
when I originally bought this one, I did compare them, and this year's White Pumpkin is more sweet. Um, but I think that definitely tips it onto the winter category to make it a little more cozier. But yeah, there's definitely lots of like spices in there. Let's see, they say that it is ginger white pumpkin caramel glaze warm blended spices. There we go. Pretty on point. But yeah, I so I haven't burned this new one yet because I just finished the other one. But again, a little bit different. I think I like the old one better, but this one is still very good. Ah, oh, I love it. I need to burn this one next. Okay, and now we have winter. Another classic um, that they bring back pretty much every year. Oh, this one is another one that's so fresh um, and it smells a little bit campfirey oh, and it just smells like snow to me. Um, they said it has notes of white wood, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove. I do, I think the clementine is what sweetens it up a little bit, but without being like um, bakery sweet, just being like naturally sweet. Uh, and then you definitely do smell like the pine in there, um, and I think the white woods is what freshens it up. I really, uh, such a good fresh scent. Okay, next one. So this scent of candle, my friend bought for me when I was like first year of college, so many years ago. Um, I burned it. It was good. I forgot about it until like last year and then I rediscovered it and I'm so glad I did because it reminds me of then and it also reminds me of campfires because the scent is fireside. I don't know if the scent, if it used to be called something different so if it did, don't come for me but um, it smells almost the same as I remember it did a while ago. But I love this fireside scent. It smells like a campfire. I love campfire smell. I know a lot of people don't, but I love the next day when I wake up and my hair smells like I was at a campfire last night. And this is pretty much exactly what that smells like, but it doesn't linger on you. Don't worry. Not like a real fire, but it just smells like that. And it is pretty strong. Um, again, it doesn't linger, but like while it's on, it is pretty strong and I like that. Um, so smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers are the notes that it says it has, and, and I believe that. I already went through one this season. This is my second one of the season, so love this scent. Okay, and the last one is the one that is lit right now. It's called Let It Glow. Um, its actual name is Perfect Christmas. The Perfect Christmas, my bad. Um, and I think, one, I think the packaging on this is really cute. I don't know if you can tell, but it has, like, little... A string of lights on it which is adorable and it smells so good it's like a mix of Christmas spices but this one is I think a year old so I don't know if, if it's exactly the same as as past years or is this year's the perfect Christmas or if it's even still continued but it's a yeah it's a beautiful blend of spices and it's it's very cozy and, and a little bit warm feeling and I just love lighting this one. I think it's, I'm going to be disappointed when I run out. I'll have to go find, see if they have it again this year um, so I can buy another one because I just love this one. And that is it. Those are my winter candles. Let me know what you think. Let me know if any of them interest you and I can talk more about them. Let me know if there are any of your favorites that I need to get because like I said, um, I fill the voids in my life with candles. So Please help me fill the voids in my life with candles. Send me some good recommendations and I will happily indulge you and myself. Um, but yeah, I hope you have had a good day and I will see you again on day number eight.